Welcome to King Talks with Mimi. Now let's go ahead and jump into these reactions. Okay. Oh, don't laugh at me, friend. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the kingdom. And I'm back again for another reaction. And guys, I had did a poll over on my channel. And I asked y'all, who did y'all want to talk about? Uh, Peyton, Gina, Chelsea, or... Rochelle and y'all little messy tells y'all something and said Gina and I know why because y'all messy y'all love a little mess every now and then I don't mind entertaining y'all and giving y'all my thoughts and my opinions on these vi on these vlogs but y'all I do have a couple of house rules honey because it's getting a little bit out of hand honey y'all come around here on um King Talks with Mimi channel y'all come around here treat treating it like it's an old house party or old juke joint hole in a while y'all ain't got no manners y'all just dropping all kind of comments uh down off in the comments and now when y'all you y'all use y'all mad knees baby y'all get down low 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 I said what well, these folks over here they baby they just the comments just there like what is the tea y'all get real low in them comments so baby I just said well hold on we're gonna put a little pause on the honey because I got a few house rules y'all first of all Let's, let's be respectful of the people, of the content creator who I'm reacting on. Y'all just really, really, really cuts loose, honey. And when I react on these content creators, these are channels that I watch. So, and it's with no type of um, hate or anything or negativity. I'm just reacting to what they are posting. I don't talk about anything off camera or I don't make any speculations about what I assume they're doing outside of what they post on um, their vlog. My number one rule is I only react to what they post on their YouTube channels and what I can see. Anything else is off limits. I'm not addressing it. I don't care if, if he says, she said, I don't address But y'all really do be going overboard. Y'all want to be speculating and then y'all just want y'all, these are just content creators. They're just channels that I watch that I just want to give my opinion and my reviews on. I just want us all to keep it respectful of them. And I want y'all to go ahead and whoever, whatever content creator I talk about, go over there and support their channel. Watch, give them the clicks, the views, subscribe to their channels if you haven't, and show them, and show them some support, y'all. And let's just not be bullies over here. Now, we're going to get down to key cam, but let's not be bullies over here, y'all. Let's just try, you know, just if you want to leave your opinion, leave your comment, go ahead and do it with some taste, y'all. Y'all got to remember to use y'all mad knees, but use them tastefully, honey. Y'all be getting real low, low scrub into the ground in them comment sections. I said, well, Lord, let me go ahead and let them know right now. Y'all drop down in them comments and use y'all mad knees, but don't get down and scrub to the ground now because we ain't trying to bully nobody. Y'all here? Now, let's go ahead and jump into this reaction, y'all. One that I want to go ahead and talk about, Jenna went round there to New York, y'all. She done went over there to New York, y'all, and she said, uh, what, what she said, she finna take over New York. Uh, y'all already know what type of carry now Gina gives on her vlogs. So, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on into y'all. So, we're gonna watch the one that she called. She just went to, um, New York recently. So, uh, hey, and I just want to go ahead and give a disclaimer. If you've come over here, I know y'all not already seen, uh, this vlog. I've seen it. I'm just going back to give y'all, uh, my points and what I thought about. A few things that I had noticed about the, um, vlog. I've already watched, watched it in its entirety. So, I'm just going back over it with y'all, child. Give y'all my, my opinion about it. But, y'all... If y'all have watched her vlog, if y'all were expecting, if y'all were expecting anything of the sort of any type of tourism or fun activities or anything, Gina's not the, the travel channel that does that. She's not going to take y'all to the museums and the tours. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. She's going to stop around and pick up a piece of, uh, what is that old junk juice in, uh, off the sidewalk and a piece of meat pie, child, and she, off the, off the street, off the corner. She's going to keep it all moving, her child. They're going to go on to a little club and turn up and yeah. So... Hey, that's what you're going to get from Gina Vlog in New York. So, y'all, go ahead, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and jump into this reaction. We're going to stay. Y'all, Gina and I already started that line. She already started that line. Stop. She already started it. Oh. Yeah. Jen went through and cleared that line. Uh uh uh. Uh uh, Mel. <laughs> Baby, you, child, Gina 
cannot lie in peace in front of in front of Jen. Baby, this was a lie that she should have told us while Jen was in the restroom at the airport, baby, because Jen was right there clearing the lie. But you know what? Uh, uh, thank you anyway, Jim. Thank uh, thank you for doing the people's work. We we appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all why it's good to have both the TSA preacher and Cleo. Mm -mm. And the TSA preacher. Y'all, Gina, Gina love uh, thinking she be putting her subscribers on or, or viewers. Because some people just watch her channel. They aren't subscribers. They just view her content. But she, baby, Gina, Gina really be thinking she be putting her people on. Some people have been having... Clear and pre TSA check in, but I, Gina, I think I think you <laughs> you new to the rodeo, baby, because you really be thinking you be putting people on good. You you'll be late to the party at time, but you know what? She be so delusional sometimes. She don't even know she late to the party, so she just let her do what she do. Carry on. talk about somebody eating girl you need to put away a whole field of corn baby you, just because you don't eat on the plane don't mean you can't put it away little lady you eat too hell you probably could out eat him in an ear of corn eating contest girl the last thing you need to be doing is talking about with somebody eating because baby the way you swallow food uh-uh you leave that man alone that man was hungry and then you know he, everybody ain't got manners Jim. what did you want some of the corn Oh, that man probably hungry. Was a diabetic or something. Y'all had to get his his food. Gina, that, that, I didn't like that. You just bullying that man. Child, carry on. She's literally. So her and Gina room next door. She's gonna go over here and look at uh, Jen's room. I like this wig of choice Jen has on. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> Hello, hmm. minute she said she said jen's room is different from hers hell what what jen got then she got the uh executive uh the president owner of the hotel suite because what she mean different or do she mean she got one of the free basic room what she mean different it's jen's room better or worse than hers you know what jen you got to stop doing that ma'am you really got to do little comments like that you got to stop saying shit like that. Yes, I, I, need, I need some of this snacky snack. Mmm. Mm. Oh, smell great. Me too. Girl. <laughs> now y'all know. Back in the... If y'all been watching Gina vlogs for some time, her travel vlogs, y'all already know what she did. When she get to wherever she done landed, that's when she said, as soon as she get off the plane, she had an Uber or whatever, take her to the nearest liquor store. Hell, one time she even, when she got to the room in Miami, she walked to the liquor store and got her a bottle of Tito's or whatever it was. She ain't never thought about getting no little mini bottles, packing them and taking them nowhere. Y'all know who started them to doing that? Portia, baby. Portia would have drinks to go and uh, little bottles and Ziploc bags labeled with all types of more writing and just uh, she would have it just fixed up nice little uh bottles of liquor so good child you know Gina may used to nothing like this so now they didn't hit the ground one so now they're gonna make sure that they go to the liquor store and get all the nasty every little nasty bottle of liquor <laughs> that they can find to put in a suitcase to bring to them when they leave out of town out of state and i what i said nasty i meant nasty because all these liquors that uh, Jim pick look nasty as hell. Uh-uh. You gotta have options. And talking about you gotta have options. And why she sit them up like that? 
it ain't, Jen's not even a drinker. So how does she even know what to get? Cream tequila, okay. Baby, y'all done went and got all this cream and, and chocolate, a coffee rub. Y'all gonna have a, a shit all up down y'all back. Y'all gonna be... <laughs> Chase Gina them down because they thought uh, Gina done skipped out on the tab. Make no never to go to that bar again. Oh, nice. So, y'all, that walk from the um, hotel to the bar almost took Gina out, baby. She was huffing and puffing like she was running from her slave master child. Y'all, here go one of the highlights of the video the outfit check. And I'm just finna tell y'all right now, either y'all drop down in my comments and say anything negative about these outfits. <laughs> I'm gonna delete the comment. <laughs> Carry on. That outfit is cute, Jen. I don't know. I, I pause. I don't know where them boots fit in with her outfit but okay girl uh let's see what your home girl wear <laughs> baby Gina just big and goofy <laughs> y'all I'm sick of Gina I am so sick of Gina because y'all, I know Gina did not. Oh Lord, Gina strutting around. Gina strutting around New York, uh, dressed like Santa Claus. Gina, why did you wear that? <laughs> Were the boots the same red? It doesn't matter. Never mind that. That that don't even go. It's not. Uh uh. I just knew when, cause that, I like them boots actually that Gina got. I just knew she was gonna rock them with like some denim pants and a white shirt or a blue shirt or a, I don't know something. But I didn't think she was gonna totally miss the mark dressing them up like that with this camo. Okay, Gina. Now we see you've got a personal trainer that's paying off. You look, you look, you look ravishing. You look ravishing, dear, ravishing. But we're going to want you to probably get a, mm, a stylist, maybe, to, you know, help you out in that area. But carry on. Red boots, trim I don't even understand Chanel, where that came Chanel, from. And Gina is giving country. <laughs> it's giving very much so country. And then why are you dressed like it's 40 degrees in uh, New York? Good, did you not check the weather app on your iPhone to see what the weather was going to be like in New York? Or did you just assume that since it's New York, you needed to take a fur hat, scarves, mittens, gloves, a, a boots, and turtlenecks, and things of that nature? Did you? Uh, carry on. Y'all, I do love that wig on her. That wig is cute, and her hair, her, the hair is cute, and I like her makeup. It's cute, cute. Bitch, you did that. <laughs> this outfit is just a black um oh, Lord. black turtleneck. Some black oh, leggings that I got from a crazy boss. This I don't yeah, I don't I don't I think Gina do this shit on purpose because how could you always have Gina, why did you <laughs> why is it so much? And it's not even a good so much, it's just tacky so much. 
the accessories. It'd be way too many accessories. And then it seems like it looks like the outfit always starts out cute. But then you start hating on yourself and you throw something ugly in. That jacket is cute. But it, you're not wearing it right. It looks like what you have on underneath is cute. It probably would have been cute as is with just your sneakers. It look, that would have been a cute outfit without this uh, this trench coat that you got from the store. You could have got that. You could have worn that with something else. I don't understand why you do this to yourself. It's my red trench that I got from Target. And then is it even cold Chanel enough for a beanie? New Chanel beanie. I got this probably like two months ago. I and you, I don't care what nobody say. Gina going to wear shades too. whether it's anyway, along with the sunny Chanel or not sneakers, outside. She's going to wear Chanel and that, that's that's just that just is what it is yeah i want to tell y'all <laughs> gina just continues to remind me of the granny from um uh what is that the nanny y'all remember uh fran and then fran had a mama and then fran mama had a mama that's what she reminded me of a friend's uh Friend Russia's uh, grandma. She, baby, it just be a whole lot of carrying on when it come down to the fashions over there. Oh, Y'all, Jenny didn't wear the Louis Vuitton glasses. She has on a construction worker um, safety goggles. Lord Jesus. The Louis Vuitton shades was uh, actually cuter. Y'all, so Jenny didn't cons consume liquor on off the street or on the sidewalk and now they're outside eating meat pies along the sidewalk i'm just this really amazes me i <laughs> i think because gina's been to new york one other time that she's blogged and she did kind of sort of the same thing they just eat their jaws out oh lord child. they just skip states to eat and drink i guess and Gina thought she was slick, giving Jen the bigger piece. I knew what Gina was doing. Gina said, baby, I'm finna be eating and glutton, baby. But I ain't finna work. I ain't finna um, mess up all my hard work I've been uh, putting in with this training because Gina has lost some weight, y'all. You can tell it in her face. She, she's lost weight. She's doing real good. So she is stuffing her, her mouth, her, her jaws, her throat often. But I don't see her. She ain't going as hard as she was last time she was in New York with her sister. So... The personal trainer is paying off. So it's later on. She's getting ready to go out with um, Jen. And I don't be, I don't really be having a problem with Gina's fashions. Um, I ain't never really been one of them to complain. Like I, she, I did say that she does need to switch it up and occasionally wear like a nice, you know, a nice dinner pants with a nice blouse, whatever. And I've noticed that she has started doing that. I don't know. I don't know if she had been visiting the kingdom or whatever, but she has started doing that. I know she started switching up a little bit, but I've never really been one to harp on her fashions. I actually don't mind the way she dresses. I think it fits her body. Like I've always said, that's Gina's lane. She should stay in her her lane because she does it well. Nobody else can do it like her. So the way she was dressing initially, hey, I see no problem with. It. I just wanted her to throw in a little more adversity and then just miraculously she started doing it and hey she's doing good that's why i've seen her in dinner pants and nice blouse covered up and she's cute in that as well so jenny you okay over here girl the, the fashions ain't that ain't, ain't ain't the issue baby you you are right on that side now let's see what jen got on and i'm telling y'all right now and if any one of y'all scoundrels any one of y'all drop down in my car. If y'all use y'all make knees and drop down and scrub the ground, leave in comments and say anything about Jen's outfit. I'm blind. We don't want that foolishness over here. We don't want it. We don't want it. Don't you I don't you even do it. She says she has on the Alexander Vera Wang outfit. Y'all leave her alone. If you better not do it, uh, let her be great. It's cute. I like it. It's all black. Okay. Okay. I don't think the purse went, but hey, whatever. So they 
Fresh Rick this morning. Nasty ass looking at the guy at the liquor store. And they brought from Houston to um, New York. Okay. Y'all, they went to the club. Y'all know, if y'all know what they did, I'm pretty sure y'all did because y'all went over there and watched But y'all, if y'all ain't know, go back over there and see what they did. Now, Gina said it wasn't no sun outside. It was an overcast. So why her and her and Gina got on shades? Sticking out like sore thumbs. They just, baby, Gina just, it gives country. It gives absolute country and toys. You try Y'all, they finna. Uh, this is skip. Gina, that is not a. I don't know what the hell that was. That's not a skip. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I just want to pause right there and say, <laughs> Oh, Lord. It's, you know what? They have fun. And that's, that's all. That <laughs> Lord, Jesus. You know what? Y'all better not cut up in my comments at all, and I mean it. Y'all better not. Y'all don't do it, but I just want to tell y'all, what the, what the, y'all, what are the fits giving y'all? Because the fits is giving, it's a lot going on. I'm, it's, it's a lot to dissect, and I don't even know. Nope, not even going to do it. I'm just going to continue to enjoy this, this skip that they're doing. So here we go. Carry on. Baby. Gina is struggling to do that little mini stroke. Baby, Gina was struggling, baby. Never mind the bad ankle she complained about earlier and the bad knee she got. Child, baby, Gina was struggling to even lift her body a quarter of a third of an inch up off that sidewalk, up off that cement. Oh, child, it was, baby, you come down hard on that knee or that ankle wrong, you out of there. You hear me? You out of there. But it looks like she had fun, and that was quite the entertainment. Y'all, so that is the end of my viewing for the, um, for Gina's travel vlog in new york if you want to see it in its entirety head over there to her channel you probably have already seen it by now if not go ahead over there and watch it y'all the end of the vlog the re the rest of the vlog just ended up with them i think they went out to eat at another restaurant or something and yada 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 y'all i was surprised that near the end of the video when gina was back at the airport headed back to texas why was she surprised that her stomach was towed up like that i couldn't understand why was she in such a, I want, she just, she just couldn't believe that her stomach, girl, you, did you not see how you ate, how you drank, you ate, you drank sidewalk punch, you ate all types of beef pies, bean pies, sushi, ice cream, chopped ice cream, chopped cheese, pizza in a car, you ate like it wasn't gonna be no tomorrow, like you ate, 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 and like, at first, when I was watching the vlog, I was like, okay, she's she's just, you know, she's not going to be glutton like normally because, you know, she she's on a health journey. She's on a fitness journey. So she's really going to watch what she do because she doesn't want to undo all of her hard work. But she, the more I continue on that vlog, I said, oh, she living on the edge, honey. She said she don't care. She going to eat like it's no tomorrow. And that's exactly what she did. Ate like it was no tomorrow. So I just want to know why you thought your stomach was going to hold up all of that junk that you was clogging down your throat baby you had to know that stomach wants to pack its luggage up and get up out your body like then you want some tums girl you gonna need to detox after that you just threw all kinds of junk down off inside of your system just ate, ate all different types of girl mixing sushi with everything then the late night drinking then that nasty ass banana rum and what was that that cream liqueur that they ew gross nasty never buy that again if you have any left this is what i want you to do i want you to, when you get back home pull up those bottles of cream liqueur open up the top pour that shit down the drain never buy it again it's, don't drink that shit on an empty stomach like y'all nasty for traveling taking that on a travel trip like gross but anyway, y'all, I was just surprised at the fact that she was surprised that her stomach was towed up like that. Like, for real, for real. I couldn't believe it. And y'all, all in all, the fashions, the, the outfit choices that, that she selected for this trip, <laughs> they're pretty.
very interesting. I, my, I think my favorite one was the green and black. That outfit was T on her, honey. Cute, 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 cute. I love when she dresses like that. She does, she does it well. I did not really enjoy that, um, that one piece set with the, the black and white sweater. I didn't enjoy that only because I thought the sweater was too big and it made her look larger than what she is. I don't really like when she does the oversized look. Because it makes her look larger than what she is. She's not really showing off, off her, her body or anything like that. So, um, I didn't really like that for her. If it would have been a little bit tighter or something, it probably would have been cute. But, um, I don't think her going for the oversized look works in her favor. Just, I just don't. Um, and that's it. That's all. That's my opinion. And the outfit that she wore the first night that they went out, that red with the, um, what was that? The camo pants. I don't think, I think that would have been, that's cute, but maybe with a different shoe. I don't think that those red uh, boots that she had gotten from Trend Mall, those red boots are cute. Don't get me wrong. They're very cute. I don't think they went with that outfit. I think she should have did a different type of shoe. Um, or maybe it was the pants that threw it off. Because why those pants had that long ass belt uh, hanging down the side of her leg? I don't, maybe she should have cut that, uh, cut that belt off and threw on one of whole nasty uh, chain belts that she normally wear. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, and her makeup was cute. And also, y'all, I loved her nails. Um, where did she get the nails from, y'all? I know it's a press on. I, and I know she ain't found them at no Dollar Tree. So if y'all know where she got them press on nails, let me know. Those press ons was cute on her. Cute, cute, cute. Loved them. They're trendy. They're in style. They're in fashion. I love those nails on her. Looked like her lashes. In one uh, scene, it looked like her lashes was trying to get up and run from her face a couple of them. But then in another scene, it looked like she had brushed them out. So they looked fanned and put together. So um, the lashes, her lashes was put together after all. And then her wigs, her her wigs of choices, they, they were cute. I like the wigs on her. I love her when she wears a straight um, middle part bust down. I think that's real cute on her. So, um... Yeah, y'all, so this is what you get when you uh, watch one of Gina's travel vlogs. Y'all don't really be, y'all just travel. And you, I mean, she don't really do the touristy um, shit. You'd have to check out an actual travel vlog that does that. Gina's not going to do that. Gina's going to take y'all around the sidewalk. Y'all going to go eat, drink. Y'all going to go to a couple hole in the wall. She's going to do a couple struggle uh, twerks. And then y'all going to carry y'all ass right on back down there to Texas. You hear so that that's what Gina get, but very entertaining. I I, <laughs> I enjoyed watching it. So y'all, what I want y'all to do? First of all, I want y'all remember to be polite in the comments. Watch what you say, y'all. These are Gina is a content creator, and I do watch her vlogs. Um, they're entertaining to me, so it's with no malice or anything. We that's not my intention over here. And if I feel like that you are coming up here with that vibe, I am going to block you or delete your comment because that's not what we do over here. This is not going to be um, a bully channel. It's not a bully channel. We just over here watching the channels and re uh, reacting to the channels that I watch. And this is one of them. So we ain't over here for the bullying, baby. We're going to come up here. We're going to keep, keep, carry on. And we're going to keep it moving. So if you have anything negative to say about the content creator that I watch, keep it to yourself. Don't even use your magnet. I'll take that somewhere else. But child, anyway, if you like it, love it, sub it. Use your magnets, drop down in them comments, and I'm going to chop it up with y'all in the next one.